Welcome back to Frostpunk 2 and Chapter 3, Story. Now, in the last episode, we managed to survive the whiteout, but we are currently having severe, severe, severe problems with not having enough oil. I'm going to send as much oil as we can from the um, Dreadnought, transfer those resources. That really helps, but we still need more yet. Uh, one thing that I'm not sure if we have built, and I'm actually quite sure we haven't built it, is the um, automated freight dock. We need this. Uh, let me just see if I have mm, perhaps built that another location. Middle East, no, we haven't. So we need to build the automated freight dock because that's just a requirement so we can get more... Um, we build in the logistics section okay um i didn't think i thought that was a hub i didn't think it built that in um districts we're also very close to being out of workforce that i could fix by removing or shutting down one of these because we don't really need it uh also should expand it Uh, let's jump on over here. Uh, we're going to have severe issues here with Scholar. We need to build the uh, extraction advanced fracturing pump track. I don't think I managed to build that because I think the game just pushed me over into the uh, chapter uh, 2 ending. We'll build that. Now we also need to deal with the Scholar. Um, and to do that, we are going to have to build ventilators. Uh, ventilation tower... We'll build one down there and we'll build one up here i don't think that'll be enough but we'll see now we do have enough workforce for that um um advanced fracturing pump jack but i'm wondering if we should tear down the old one in one of them and then build one more or actually i can build one more like that do believe those require cores though yeah so we just used two cores but that's fine we, we just need more oil there's a slight lack here of um housing uh so i should probably it should be fine actually uh Rather, I thought it would be. I. Oh, I don't have workforce to frustrate. That's the problem. Uh, shut you down so I get workforce to frost break. New Londoners demands met, and they put that on the council agenda. I'll deal with that. I can do that right away. Actually, vote. It's a good law. Hear ye, hear ye! The proposed law has been approved. In case you wonder what that does, it means we get production efficiency in outposts. That's it. Oh, we'll be turning this on again now. Apparently we randomly got some workforce from somewhere. I have no idea where. Maybe the building of the ventilators. Now this one needs to be expanded. Miss 17. Means I need another one.
Yeah. Not much choice in that regard. I'm going to have to frost break up. The frostland. But we can still see the whiteout on the map, I believe. Yes, it's here now. There is an event going on in New London. Oh, we've found an old cookbook at the Waste Incineration Facility. Apparently it was a good idea not to burn the books. Steward, following your instruction to sort the waste, workers at an incineration facility found a, found a pre-frost book called Modern Cookery for Private Families. Snowden Pudding, Mulligatawny Soup, Kins Blanc Mange, uh, recipes are being copied over and over as people eagerly try to recreate them with the ingredients available to us. Half of the city have been exchanging old memories rekindled by these tastes. Moods have been lifted. Tension is slightly decreased. Uh, we could probably repel the Admit No Outsiders law now. Uh, anything to research? Pyrochemical oil extractor. 780. Well, this is a radical idea, but... Yeah. This sounds risky, to put it mildly. The fact that it's a radical idea also makes it even riskier. Um... Charcoal plants. Composites. Uh, advanced foundries. New York model in attendance. Yeah. <laughs> Radical idea. Automated workforce, also radical radical idea. Requires oil as well. Sixteen hundred workforce. Yeah. It's an interesting thing. Harvester hangers. City housing distribution. Workers housing. Increases the production efficiency slightly. Society. They have relationships and pharmaceuticals left here. The hubs are interesting. Um... Workforce requirement decreased, disease decreased, crime disease deceased decreased, trust increased, efficiency increased. Attention decreased, materials demand decreased. Um Yeah, let's research the maintenance hub. There's also the matter of exploration. Uh, there's the mountain up here. I don't know what it has, but it has something special because it doesn't have any kind of... But this one, that's too dangerous currently. Um, I'm going to take the mountains down here. That's 25, and the coast down here is... Another event. Evolver's protest. Well then. Steward. 
The evolvers have taken to the streets in protest against the city's growing dependence on oil and the generator. What are you guys doing? You want to die in the cold? Okay. We cannot stand by and let the faith keepers further bind us to a single point of failure. We kept silent as the whiteout endangered, endangered us all, but no more. They evidently feel that they had no further recourse to make their descent known. Infiltrating the most vital buildings in the district, they hold the production lines hostage. What should we do? They also dislike machine-centric shift, shifts, heat overclocking, and all due maintenance. We can accept their demands. It means we need to demolish the patrol watchtower and repel conservative treatment and dutiful youth in 40 weeks. We can further their vision. Um, we need to research labor oversight, privatized alcohol production, and merit-based housing. We can convince them to stop means we need to raise their relations to neutral to stop the protest or we can just ignore and i will ignore due to poor relations the evolvers have begun to protest they seek to change the direction you're leading the city in production is halted in affected districts for every thousand of their supporters they will spread to another one over time you can negotiate the end to the disruptions or quell them with guards it will be more difficult and more violent the higher the fervor of protesters Nullifying their fervor will also prevent them from blocking the district fully, fully, as well as ultimately make the protest collapse on its own. I see. This district is currently deactivated due to a protest. Uh, we can negotiate, or we can just counter-protest. I don't have a, the Guard Enforcer's law in force. Uh, what if I we don't have enough two thousand members, so if I condemn them. Uh, it's contained to this district currently. Path to power for the city's safety. Steward. The Evolver's protest has terrified many in the city. Many are calling for, for a response from the council. The captain limited the steward's powers, but he couldn't have foreseen this descent. Maybe the time has come to increase our leader's authority for the safety of the city. Several proposals have been suggested that would help us deal with the protests. It is up to you to decide if we will place them on the agenda. Delegates will, will vote on charter laws based on their relations. So that's the um, a laws here. I don't think I could get this. Maybe I could actually get this through now. Um, depends on what they want. Yep. Uh, frontier footholds. Let me just check what that is. Because if I research something that I... I haven't... Oh, you can research the other ideas. Uh, what did you call the law game? Negotiate Frostlanders. Vote for Frontier Footholds. Outpost. Um, so that should be under Frostland. Outpost operation. Frontier foothold. We have already researched the extraction strongholds, but I didn't know you could research both of the um, 
size of the law. So there, I learned something new. Also, I should mention, we are in uncharted territory for myself right now. I have no idea what I'm doing now because I have no idea what to expect now because this is as far as I played in um, my own games. So after this, it is all a mystery to me as well as to you guys. Uh, let's negotiate with these guys and research and hold the boat for the frontier footholds. Accept boat. Now I can go here and I can use my guards to quell the protests. That will increase the fervor for the Evolvers, but um, let's just hold... Oh, well, some counter-protesters might get injured. What is in this district? A ventilation tower and a prison. That's not ideal, but we don't need either of those right now, so it's fine, actually. Back here. Squalor is notable, but stable. Good. We also have 340 oil in excess here. So, and we are also making oil here. So we can increase this to... Let's see if I have 50 oil left in uh, the Dreadnought for stockpiling purposes. That should give us ample oil in. New London. Uh, so, winter home is here, but of course we need to wait for the uh, whiteout to pass it by. Uh, ten Frostland teams to increase, that's fine. How much does it increase? By... Third By 30,000. Oh, well, that's fine. Mm. City outsiders. I can't really do anything before the council is not in recess. Frontier footholds, let's research that. We have ample income of everything currently. believe this one no these guys need stuff okay so we need to give them more food they definitely need more materials they also need a little bit more goods We also need more housing here. Trust falls due to ongoing pros protests. Could you guys try to re radicalize these guys? I would really be very happy if you did. Fuel stockpile hub. Huh? 
Now, I did research another hub. The heating hub, yes, but not that one. I researched something. Maintenance hub. Yeah, this seems... logical to build, to be honest. This completely done? No, it isn't. Let's empty it. This is a coal deposit. Some coal left. This? What is this? 89 bystanders killed and 715 injured in the protest. Well done. Um, I probably should do something about this. And Frostlander's demands met. Rises their trust. Can I now make... no. I would like to build housing. Don't have any workforce left. I need to pass that law. Um, this law I'm completely irrelevant. It's ir that's irrelevant for me, but I need to call an emergency council session so that I can get population growth again. I didn't expect that to be... Uh, Uh, go here and emergency council session arrival. Uh, no, that's fine. Uh, go to the city and then I would like this one, but I don't think I am able to do that unless. Yeah, I can research in Hollywood for that. Hear ye, hear ye, the eyes have it. Rising still. Good. Apparently, we have also managed to finish our explorations. We have the Shifting Coast and the Ashtop Mountains. And the Ashtop Mountains, the first one here is the Winter Palace. That is a beautiful building. The Old Empire, possible settlement. Over the snowy Balkan no, over the snowy valley towers, an opulent manor, complete with a marble ballroom and an indoor pool of hot spring water. Our scouts walked straight past the classical library and Turner seascapes to be amazed by the fur coats and felting gear in the servants' quarters, as well as the silver skinning knives and leatherworking tools. The scouts wanted to take the boots and coats home, but the commander disagreed. We should use these samples and these tools to set up a factory reproducing the works of the old world. Then everyone in New London will have a fur coat and waterproof boots. We could take the goods. I don't really feel we need to do that. Or we could prepare to build an outpost here that will produce goods. That sounds better. Then here we have the IEC storage. A steel shed sits by a small crevice. It stores rusted shut. The letters IEC embossed across its roof. Our scouts managed to cut their way in and found a store of cores and tower pumps, parts once used to construct the generator. Two cores and a hundred prefabs. I... thank you. 
Seal colony. Nomads. Once believed lost in the harsh grip of the frost, the miraculous return of seals fills our scouts' hearts with wonder. While their meat is valuable, some believe we should let the colony grow until seals once again become a common sight along the shore. We can hunt them. We can protect them. Uh, or we could come back. Yeah, that's like no. Yeah, we'll we'll protect the seals. Because if we let the seals continue to breed, we might have a food source forever, and that improves the relation with both the Frostlanders and the Evolvers. And then finally, we have a fragrant, fragrant find. Atop a glacier, we found sealed crates marked with a stamp of the Imperial Ex Exploration Company. Each was tied to some sort of sail, long worn out in the subsequent winds. The scout's commander thinks it is possible the craters were once dropped from airships. Tingling with anticipation, the scouts opened them to find towels and toiletries. Fragrances from a dead world they have never smelt before. As silly as it sounds, the, fight, the find might go some way to improving lives in New London or be broken down to produce other products. 25,000 goods know if we need that. Do we? We actually do. No reason not to take them. And we have 30 scouting teams left. There's very few areas left for us to scout. There's this one up here. Launch an expedition there, and then there's the one up there. I think there's yeah, there's one underneath the white out as well. Quell protests ended. Guards violently repressed the protests. Do I really have to do it one more time? No. Trust rises after the Evolver's protests end and one injured in London. So we have 612 of our workforce who are currently injured. Maybe it would be a good idea to build a hospital. Uh, that requires 200 workforce. We need to research... Was it scout training? Pathfinder scouts? Yeah, so the workforce is gradually coming back. Uh, I'm going to round up some evolvers here. Uh, yes, that will increase the tension significantly, but I need to decrease the fervor of that faction. A new group has a presence in New London. What? I don't know of any other groups. Oh, there we go. Detainees, of course. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure they're going to be very fond of me. Um, I probably also should consider building more guard towers because this might get ugly. Um, so what's going on here? Maribel, 55, laundress. Eavesdropping through a door. They don't invite me anymore. Every other Sunday we used to meet up, the four of us. Crumpets, berry wine and gossip. A perfect afternoon. Now they won't even talk to me. They spew poison out of my mouth, spouted Lizzie. That's what the steward said. I can hear them coming up the stairs. 
again without me. Condemned evolvers are shunned by other residents of the city. Well, if you didn't go to extremes, then maybe things could be a little bit easier on you guys. I mean, I'm not saying that I'm authoritarian, but uh, perhaps I am a little bit. Everything is good here. Waiting for this population growth to happen. What does that law specifically say? Allow productive outsiders. It Percentage of active workers will slightly increase over time. Population growth is marginally increased and also heat comes Heat comes here. Yeah. Heat stamps income per capita is also marginally increased. So we're actually up to 46 Newcomer per week. Outsiders, be reminded, to We've lost a bit. Rights, you must remain productive at all times. That is because of uh, people dying due to the protests. 3,500 more people. The Frostlanders are delighted you kept your word. They now look upon your rule more positively, and so forth and so forth. Uh, can you de-radicalize your guys now, please? Thank you. 152 leave, fervor decreases. Good, that will help. Uh, research. Can we research that we... And there was another thing in here that I was looking at. I think it was the rail hubs. Yes, it was. I'm going to do it as a for the Frostlanders so that I get the uh, little bit more support from them. And there's the delegate vote. And there's an event here. Separated families allow productive outsiders. Steward, a large group of people has set up camp outside the city by one of our checkpoints. They claim to be relatives of outsiders we let in. My daughter is alone in there, said a distressed mother. You need to let me in. She needs me. After checking, we told her that her daughter... A 15-year-old laundress is safe and doing well, but the mother won't budge. Like her, the others are refusing to leave until they are let in. What should we do? We could relax the law to keep families together. That will increase the percentage of active workers in the population less effectively. Or we could keep a strict selection, which will marginally improve prove our relations with the evolvers actually so letting in relatives would defeat the entire purpose of selection they don't like me anymore but i'd actually like to have that uh, opportunity uh, let's enable this because we need more goods We don't need more goods, but we need more goods to be produced. 50 per week, that is good. Um, winter, home, winter home is now outside of the storm. Anything else that I want to... Eventually I'll have to... Oh, we need 10 Frostlands teams for that.
Where, there, there it is. We probably need to build that uh, deep building thing. Um, I mean, we have enough food as is right now, but deep melting drill. Yep, let's build that in this district. Just going to test something. Yeah, it actually also increases heat if you are near a district that gives you scholar, but whether it's a good idea, that's an enti entirely different story. Uh, this one has a deep melting drill. Besides, I believe we are full on the stockpiles of both food, and so the only thing we need is oil goods. We have 40 Frostlands teams available. That means we have finished our exploration up here. This is the last Hope Mountain. Makeshift mine, nomads. A group of nomads have dug a coal mine on this site, using it to fuel a set of crude hothouses. However, their design is flawed and they haven't yet been able to grow any crops. A quick exchange between them and our scouts suggests they will give us the site if we provide them with enough food for them to travel elsewhere. Alternatively, we could send in guards to drive them away. Seems rather rough. We could send them food. How much? 10,000. This is a coal outpost. Or we could send 15 guards. I'm... I'm fine with uh, giving them food, actually. This one, dried oil well. A rusted derrick breaks the white horizon. Below, the oil well lies empty. Our scouts found scrap materials in a large hangar nearby, along with blueprints illustrating how to convert a dreadnought's coal engine to use oil. Underneath a pattern of ice and rust, our scouts found that the surface of the oil derrick has been almost completely scored with psalms and prayers. Well done. Sure. I mean, I don't feel we're lacking for prefabs currently, but... Now, I we, we need to explore further, but I'd like to build a skyway up to, uh, to this point here. And we could continue from there. What is this, to be exact? This is a goods outpost. This is for materials. So we can build a skyway down there as well. I need to pay attention to what my teams are doing now, though. Like, say this, for instance. This one is extracting materials. We don't need them to do that. Uh, down here we have... That's a hunting camp, so that's not necessary. This one also needs a skyway. We don't have any more teams left though. What is this? Yeah, that's I don't know what is things. Uh, we do have a road leading into Winterholm now. We can explore the site. We need to connect a trail and send colonists. So let's let's explore the site. Connect path. This is an extremely okay. Scouts report the valley is filled with toxic miasma, seeping from chasms in the ground seemingly made by a huge explosion. Will be the generator exploding. In an effort to make the site more hospitable, we could force an avalanche, avalanche down the valley, covering some of the fissures, but we would bury the technological roots of the city forever. If we want to access the foundations of the destroyed generator and salvage the cores within, we have to demolish the last of the ruins and crack the ground open even more. Once our colonists arrive, we will have to choose. This is an extremely dangerous place. We better come prepared. Not connected to the city via trails. You really want me to build a... Oh, that's... I guess... 
this isn't... I managed to misclick here. Okay, well, that's fine. So this should now have access to... Minus 187,832 weeks, eh? Rail hub proposed by the Frostlanders. Yes, I intended to build that actually. Um, I mean, we could always repel the law about uh, productive outsiders if we get too much population growth. So let's research that idea. Besides, there's always the um, subsidized housing blocks. Although I don't like the uh, <laughs> heat stamps reduction. You can build two of them, though. I also wanted to build another guard tower. Might even want to build two of them. The game lags a bit when it's saving. They are promoting tradition. Any Evans. 15. Recently arrived laundress. That sounds familiar. Scrubbing a shirt, lost in her thoughts. I miss her. Go on in, she said. I'll join you later. I was deemed useful. My only merit is that I'm young and fit. Haven't lost a hand to frostbite providing for my family. Life here is so much better than out there, but I miss her. Every day I lose more hope. Will I ever see you again, Mum? Refuse to relax the allow productive outsiders to allow family members to join their kin. The game really gives you these, like, uh, let's make the player feel bad about himself or herself. Selves. I am going to be allowed to pass another law here now. I believe I am. Uh, Stewards Militia. Let's get the guided voting, because that means I can declare a motion vitally important to the city's survival, curtailing debate and convincing many wavering delegates to support it without having to negotiate with them. Uh, I'm going to uh, believe in my people. Excellent. Hear ye, hear ye. The proposed law has been approved. I have no idea if there's an achievement, uh, like there was in Frostpunk 1, where if you don't pass any radical laws, or, or you don't do like these things that I'm doing here under the, um, the rule laws, um, there might be an achievement with that. I'm not that... <laughs> Uh, obsessed with getting that achievement now. Could always try to get it later. If there is. Um, so we have this one. Okay, I need to look at what's active now. This one is active. I don't need this active. We have ample materials. This one is also active and it should be deactivated. 
Uh, we have an abandoned mine outpost that is not active. This one is active and it's extracting coal, which we definitely do not need. Down here we have outpost 11. That one I want active and the other one not. Good. So that leaves us with 35. Uh, and I need to connect this up with the skyways here. And then the mountain here needs to be explored. And so does the mountain over here, but the whiteout hasn't passed completely yet. Guards have detained faction members. So could I do that one more time? Mandatory marriage proposed by faith keepers. That's going to pass. Let's look at our housing districts to make sure that all of them are actually high rise. I know a few of them aren't. Like this one. should be all of them. In this outpost, uh, I know I built another housing district here, so we could expand that, expand that, but I need to ice break a bit more or frost break a bit more. Shouldn't be necessary. I th no, I broke up eight, so yes. I rise, rise. Squalor is stable. Wondering if I should build one of those insane oil extraction wells here. Pharmaceuticals, nah, Frostland, the harvester hangars. They're not really that necessary. It seems that some of them you can research both, some of them you can't. Like this one? No, actually, I can. Okay, um... Something that I... Yeah, the workers' housing, that was what I wanted. We have 25. Can we explore here now? Yes, we can. And I think that's the last one of them. Order season. Unless there's something out there or above this one that I can't see, then that should be the last explorable um, zone. Maxwell Evans, 10, mentee, daydreaming while cutting leather. That's going to be me one day, when I'm old enough. I'll be the one to stretch the hides and check if they're dry and tan them. 
I'll be the one holding the community meetings and speaking at the fair, giving out sweets to the good kids. And I'll have a wife and a warm home and job and kids. And I can eat all the sweets I want. Set the city on course towards the tradition cornerstone. That's that's a fairly eloquent ten-year-old boy. Say. It's time to build one of those uh, deep melting drills in this district. Vote on mandatory marriage, that's probably going to pass. Yep. The votes are in, the measure passes. Having a look at what we have here. This is going to be 26 weeks. We can do that. I mean, we probably should build one of those. Um, there is the coal liquefactor, which takes 100 coal and converts that into 80 oil. It does increase the squalor, though. We have a lot of coal. This was the one that I was looking at, though. But I suppose we can build a pressurized coal liquefactor as well. Faith keepers begin rallying. Bursting with support, the street fills with faith keepers as they praise your name and call upon the rest of the city to rise for you as well. Again, they have begun rallying in support of me and the direction that I have led the city. And their devotion attracts more followers and their rallies grow in size and enthusiasm. How should they help the city? We can contribute more workforce, we can contribute heat stamps, or we can organize baptisms. Uh, let's contribute heat stamps. Amusingly enough, that's the district that was under a protest earlier. Actually losing materials. have ample people that we can use for these um, materials outposts when uh, uh, but we could also just build another blast foundry actually action blast foundry we are getting to the point where we'll get more workers. Um, I don't know. Yeah, you can't build more than one of these. Sadly. There we go. That helped. Expedited courtship. Uh, I built a maintenance hub here. 
requires the materials demands. We could build another one of those. Because why not? We have mapped the entirety of the map, I believe. We have the mountain up here, which is something... Let's pretend it's Blast Mountains. Timber Kiln. Nomads possible settlement. A huge sawmill and kiln used by a group of nomads to produce oil from frozen timber. Our engineers believe we could make the machine much more efficient. If we can get on speaking terms with these nomads, we could share the machine, offering them some of the supply. Otherwise, we could take the machine by force. If we share the site, we will have access to the machine's oil output, but we'll have to share it with the nomads, or we can just gain <clears throat> access to all of it by using force. I'm going to be nice again and share it. 5.5 million oil. Okay. Then this one is Ice Capes. This site is guarded by dark silhouettes who turn out to be nomadic people of this area. Clanking and grinding sounds echo over the ice. In the distance, we can see the entrance to Ice Capes. Some nights, we also hear violent shouting, but nothing is more terrifying than those that pass in eerie silence. The nomads' guards signal that we should not approach. We can only listen and wonder. We could convince them to let us pass. Or we could enter by force. Let's convince them to let us pass. The nomads invited our scouts into their homes. They didn't say much, but from what the scouts saw, the caves are a place for different bands to trade food and supplies. The efficiency with which the nomads used oil for lighting and heating was particularly impressive. As a gift, their elders offered sketches of their oil heaters, some of their simplest devices, yet more advanced than anything in our own homes. Bring the sketches to New London. Okay, so if you don't turn them away from the uh, Dreadnought, uh, and then you also treat them with respect here, you probably will get even better. Cold is slightly decreased. That's not bad. Uh, and then we have the mountains over here, which is the Ghostless Wastes. Slaver's Camp. Several scouts went missing in this area over the years. Finally, we traced their tracks to this walled camp. We can see cages and guarded huts. It seems to be some kind of slaving camp. If we sent guards, we could deal with the slavers and rescue some of the prisoners. Our scouts will certainly feel safer knowing they can explore without having to watch their backs. Yeah. This one. The breakdown point. From the size of the abandoned workshop, wooden scaffolding and support structures, our scouts believe a dreadnought was serviced here for several months. Around the workshop, they found the remains of training equipment. Targets, bows, rifles and compasses, all used and repaired and used again to the point of shattering. A small graveyard stood to the side, and a recruit sculpture of a man covered in eels. Its plinth reads, Those who stay are lost, but those who move on will be found. Um, yeah, let's just salvage the tabs. And the final point here, a buried village. Under the snow lies a settlement from the old times, its people long gone and its structures damaged and decayed by the frost. A little bit of additional materials. Oh, I think we have connected this up so we can send colonists, but I don't think that that is a good idea. We need more people in New London before we can do that. Rising quickly. Long until this, 18 weeks. 
Workers Village, new building proposed by the Faith Keepers. We could also get the Worker's Dormitory if we want, but I don't really feel the need for that. Mandatory crowding. Shelter provided by housing is increased, but it also marginally increases tension. Merit-based housing is actually better, in my opinion, but that, that's a law that will not get passed, so let's get the mandatory crowding. Decide detainees, detainees fate. Steward, we have imprisoned 195 faction militants. All have been found guilty of perpetuating the violence engulfing our city. We could exile them. We could just leave them in prison to serve out their sentences. That's fine with me. Confirmed bachelor. Mandatory marriage. Steward, a controversy is disrupting the work of our scouts. A certain high-ranking officer remains unmarried. His preference for the bachelor lifestyle long raised eyebrows in the core, but his defiance even after marriage was made mandatory has caused a scandal. Other officers refuse to be seen in his company and subordinates request transfers to other divisions. Only his aide, who has served with him for years, stays by his side. Hmm. What should we do with him? We can remove him from office. Relations improve with faith keepers and expiration time is increased. Or we could keep him in office, which the Faith Keepers will not enjoy. So we'll remove him from office. We're done exploring. Until we finish reorganizing the Scout High Command. Well, okay. I'm pretty sure there's nothing more for us to research. I'm going to just quickly have a look. I mean, explore, not research. I have no idea what's going on out here. Okay, so we have a road up here. We could set up an outpost here, which will supply prefabs. Wow. Really? <laughs> That's not really worth it. What are you doing, game? Okay, it's doing that because it actually is too far away. And this is resource deposit, which is fully extracted. Anything specific that I need? I mean, we could build a skyway out there as well. If I'm allowed by the game. There's also that up there. That costs 200 though, so all that yet. Now we can. And this place also requires a skyway, and this place requires a skyway, so we need to get those as well. However, um, I don't know what we need to enter uh, Winter Home, uh, so that should be interesting. But I think it's time to wrap up the episode here. So that is exactly what we will do. And uh, that's. Uh, this is going to be interesting. I really don't know what's coming, but I cannot imagine that it's going to be anything pleasant. 
But if you do have any questions or comments, then please do feel free to leave those down in the comment section as per usual. And uh, even if you don't, I would greatly appreciate it if you just leave a little emoji or something down there, like a funny comment or something, just to help out with the YouTube algorithm. I hope that you enjoyed the episode, and I hope to see you all in the next one.